Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Over Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a message for Sagittarius, okay? So if you have Sag anywhere on your natal chart, whether it be Eastern, Western, what have you, no matter the placement or the house, this is for you, okay? It's going to be a February 2020 message. So if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you back, okay? Let us see what the messages are. For my Sagittarius, King of Coins in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign here, or you can just be aiming to stabilize yourself and your situation. Let us see. Yep, you guys are aiming to stabilize yourself and your situation here. Five of Coins in reverse. Yep. However, you're being guided to take your head out of the clouds. Some of you may be daydreaming a lot or fantasizing as opposed to putting the action in or the work to go with whatever your daydreams are. Visions, whatever you want to call them. Dreams. <clears throat> See? Focus in on that Ace of Cups and what it is that you would want here with this Four of Cups, but being discontent with where you are and just not taking the necessary steps to get things done. Um, you have plans that you would like to foresee, you know, coming into fruition, um, but you don't see them coming into fruition because you're not taking the steps. So that's what I'm getting here. Plain and simple. And yeah. Yep, follow your intuition. This is the outcome. If you take the necessary steps that you're being guided to take right now, you will see your desired outcome here. You're showing up as somebody who is extremely intuitive and someone who is aware of this. So all you have to do is follow what you're being guided to follow. Okay, let's get some clarity for this King of Points energy in reverse. We got the Ace of Wands. Yep, follow your passions, follow your desires. This full moon that we have coming up deals with exactly that, okay? It's in Leo, and it deals with our uh, passions and what we truly yearn for, okay? So make it happen, Captain. <laughs> make it happen, Captain. Let's see. Yep. Put the burdens down. Put the burdens and the hardships down. Stress yourself for what? Worry for what? You don't need to. It's not necessary, right? So some of you need to let your inner child know that you love them, okay? Let them know that it's okay, whatever may be wrong or whatever they think is wrong, okay? Comfort them, okay? There's a lot of vulnerability here, but I feel like some of you are afraid to be vulnerable because being vulnerable means allowing yourself to admit that you've been hurt in the first place, okay? But it might be what's necessary for you to move forward and to transform yourself and see different results, exactly you doing that gets you this um this ace of coins here okay this is a promotion this is a raise this is income this is stability this is everything that you've been thinking about here and fantasizing about okay and here we have the page of cups in reverse this to me is vulnerability are you going to allow yourself to be vulnerable that is the challenge for you right now okay so some of you need to rest some of you have been doing too much all right, as we know here with this ten of, ten of Wands, this is overdoing, overpleasing, over, you know, working, okay? So when it comes to that, I mean, some of you may be doing the wrong type of work is the message that I'm getting here, okay? Maybe you're overexerting your energy in the wrong places, all right? You need to, yeah, yep. Some of you need to allow your, yourself that vulnerability. Allow yourself time to be vulnerable, okay? That could be the work you need to do, the soul work. Maybe some of you are doing, like, work, like active work, you know? Maybe some of you have a job and all of that, but what I mean is, like, soul work. I'm not saying you're unemployed. I'm saying do the internal work, you know, with this inner child healing and all of that, you know, womb healing and cleansing for a lot of you, too, and something dealing with family as well is what I'm picking up on. Yeah. <clears throat> some of you you know just need to go back to the basics okay back to the basics back to the beginning back to where the roots are is what i just heard yep but some of you are being very resistant to this very resistant to this okay but it's necessary some of you need to do some family ancestral womb all of that inner child everything and until you do you will not move forward Yep, until you do, you will not move forward. And this is that clarity and truth that a lot of you don't want to admit. But, see, you are not going to allow yourself to transform. So some of you are putting your energy in the wrong place. Alright? Putting your energy in the wrong place. 
much need to put it on you and on healing and, and that. That is necessary, okay? <clears throat> if it resonated with you, give it a thumbs up. If it was entertaining, give it a thumbs up, okay? Get you some oracles. Edge. Ooh. I kind of fell. <laughs> no, I'm sorry about that. Let's get you some more this. That could be a sign to an omen, right? Answer the door. <laughs> Answer the door. Tune out distractions. Tune out distractions. Some of you try to distract yourself purposefully with other things. People, sex, whatever you can distract yourself with. Instead of doing... What did I say? I said that's like a knock at the door or something. Wake up call. Same thing. Wake up call. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay. Be patient with yourself. Express your joy is here. Okay. So some of you are not doing so when you need to start. Okay. Some of you are afraid to make the necessary sacrifices. But you need to begin to explore. It's necessary. Trust the divine plan. All right, so go ahead and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Peace and hair grease.